My brain doesn't tell me to breathe, but this does. And so does this. It's a BiPAP ABAPS. At night, my diaphragmatic pacemaker stimulates my diaphragm and makes me breathe 15 times a minute every single minute. My BiPAP ABAPS, however, sinks to my diaphragmatic pacemaker and makes sure that those 15 breaths are big enough to be life-sustaining. It doesn't technically expand my entire lungs or make me take a full breath, which is where the AVAX comes in and fills the gap. When I'm awake, I have years of practice breathing manually to make sure my lungs are fully expanding and I'm taking big girl breath. But when I'm asleep, all of that goes away and I need all of the help I can get. That's not all that the BiPAP ABAPS does for me. It's also a backup. So if my diaphragmatic pacemaker was turned off or something happened to it to cause a malfunction, the BiPAP would then create my ventilation and make me take my backup rate of 13 breaths per minute. Setting my BiPAP ABAPS at a slower rate than my diaphragmatic pacemaker makes sure that on an average night when nothing is going wrong, it syncs with my pacemaker to make me take 15 full life-sustaining breaths per minute. If the two devices were set at the same rate, they would fight each other, which let me tell you, we do not want. And that's how I sleep every night. Follow to learn more and drop your questions below.